Hey, how's it going? And today, this is just a super quick tip for today, for Thursday. I think it's interesting because what you call something and how you think about it, I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. So if we go into the interchange, I am just going to bring in a Mixamo character. I'll just get the standing idle one. So we'll go ahead and bring this into our scene. Now this actually brings in a lot of stuff that we don't really need. What I'm going to do is once you save the object, in layout so i'll save let me save this object here let me click on the object let me actually click on, on the object on this and we'll save all objects if i click on this alpha surface and go to modeler it should bring that into modeler and this is one of the reasons i actually like i'll hit a to bring it in this is one reason i just kind of like the separation between modeler and layout i basically have imported the just the body surface into modeler now if i go back to layout not do anything i can actually go to here and clear the entire scene and then i can go back to modeler and i've got this kind of stored in waiting so i just find this separation actually very helpful now i can send this object to layout that's just one way to do things i'm just doing this because i'm going to show you something and i oops i didn't mean to do that let me switch uh, back to layout let me get off the camera here and i'll just zoom in here a little bit a little bit closer on this rig okay so what i want to do now is i'm just going to go into the surface editor and i'm just going to switch to principal bsdf and we're just going to come in here and of course get the the checkerboards and pop that in there and we're just going to change this to 0.5 tab 0.5 tab 0.5 tab and we're just going to switch this to let's do blue for today something a little different okay and now i'm just going to close out all these screens now if I go into VPR, you can see our rig, okay? Here's the, I don't know, it's a tip or a trick, but if we go in on the object and we go into properties, if we go into instancing, uh, instancer, excuse me, you think of, you hear the name of Python city block and you think, why well, I've got to make a, a block out of this, you know, but the Python city block is not just for a city block. It's for any kind of instancing that you want to place in a ranged pattern in kind of basically like a, a linear square pattern so let me just show you how what i'm talking about so i'll click on here python city block this is going to be our object that's going to replicate if i click on this and i go activate you can see what it's doing is it's made all these instances and they're gonna it's gonna be arranged in columns and basically rows and then we can control the depth here so if we i don't know if we put that to let's see one one meter let's see where that puts us at this margin one, let's see. Oh, it brought him way too close. So maybe make them, uh, no, I guess that's okay. But now you see how it's all randomized, the height and the width, but let's just click those off and they're all the same, just like that. So now we basically have an army of kind of in the vein of iRobot. <laughs> You know they're all in information if you think about it there's a lot of things that are like this that are arranged in rows like you know crops and vehicles and assembly lines and everything else so you can use python city block to basically put anything into columns and rows like this creating this kind of army effect or cast of thousand characters and stuff like that and of course these are all the same height and width and everything but you could adjust it to whatever to add more variability in there but this is very much like an i robot you know i forget the name of that movie with will smith where they had all those robots and of course they're in t pose but they could be in any formation that you'd want that's it that's my quick tip for today don't be thrown off by the name of something python city block can be used to instance anything into columns and rows very quickly and very easily so anyway take care have a great day and i hope 2022 is a fantastic year for everyone